Hello YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have some, uh, some news on the upcoming giveaway and I also want to give you an update on what's been going on in my tanks and my fish. So let's go ahead and uh, get right underway. Let's go into the side entrance that goes right directly to my bedroom where I keep the 150 gallon. We'll start here. When you walk into my bedroom, this is what you see. This is what greets you against the wall here. And as you can see here, there's uh, everything, everybody and everything is looking real good. There is somebody missing, however. And uh, I have a tip for you on aggression. It's going to be coming up in a video. It's made a difference. Notice how everybody is pretty calm. Look at the color on that uh, super red empress there. Electric blue looking good. There's the uh, boss and the uh, challenger. Fire hat looking great as usual. Let's go ahead and go. Uh, Check out the other tanks. I'll give you an update on those too. Let's walk down the hall, past the laundry room. You can hear the washer dryer going, and uh, take a look at the other tanks. Starting with the uh, 100 here behind me. 100's doing great. You can see the uh, pebbles that I added to help reduce some of the movement of the uh, of the sand. This is a pretty fine sand. It's put out by uh, Imaginarium, it's called. And they make this fine sand. You see there the uh, Jalo Reef is looking amazing. So here's, here's what was missing from the 150. The Fusco is taking a little vacation here in the 100. You can see him there. And interestingly enough, there's been no issues. Usually when I add a fish to this tank, somebody like the Maduka White Lips will challenge. And uh, nobody challenged. And he just kind of settled in and just kind of lumbers around and uh, is eating well and is doing very, very well. This might be his retirement home. He was doing okay in the 150, but he's still getting harassed from time to time by the uh, by the Malawi trout. So I decided, okay, let's just take him out, give him an opportunity to really gain his strength and just relax a little bit. And he's doing very well in here. All the other fish are looking great. See the beautiful uh, lemon jake I picked up from the wonder of cichlids back there. Beautiful fish. Bicolor 500, looking great. Los Tres Amigos, my clown loaches, always looking great. And uh, so this tank is doing very, very well. And also from the wonder of cichlids, that Benga sunshine right there. Just a beautiful fish. Below this tank, I have the, um, I have quarantine, and in quarantine, I have the three fish I picked up and discussed in that prior video. You can see them here. Interestingly enough, and contrary to what I would predict, the most aggressive of these three seems to be that, um, that Xerox. That Xerox really asserts himself. You would think that the dragon blood you would think that that dragon blood would be the, the most aggressive. But he's not. Or the OB, perhaps. But the most aggressive here has been the, uh, the Xerox. They're eating well. You can see they're all looking great. Their fins are all nice and expanded. They're a little shy, of course. But they're going to be ready in a couple weeks to get up there into the 100. We'll see how they do up there. Love the color on that, uh, on that dragon blood, kind of a pink red. 
all three of them are looking really, really good. These are the ones I picked up over at that local landmark I talked about in a prior video. I'll put a link above. So they're doing great. They're going to be coming up into this tank and hopefully not create too much chaos. So let's uh, go right across from this tank to the 60. And you'll see here, it's a 60 gallon. It was originally a grow out tank, but it's sort of, it's evolved into a Lethronops tank, really. They're the, they're the primary fish in this tank. Of course, with uh, Photoshop right there. My red cap, his wife in the background there. And uh, there's also a, uh, a gar, I think a female gar, a couple other Lethronops species in here. And there's also a red shoulder running around, a Cynodonus catfish, and a bushy nose pleco. That's what really makes up this tank here. So to give you an update on the upcoming giveaway, the um, Elite Cichlids, they're a family-owned business, Pearl, Jack, and Mike over at Elite Cichlids. They make very high quality uh, artificial plants for aquariums. And uh, they're gonna be um, throwing in two $50 certificates, two $50 gift cards uh, for, the, uh, for the giveaway. This is a, uh, a giveaway on August 29th during the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. And uh, so we have quite a, quite a few folks already involved. We have Cunningham Cichlids threw in 50. We have uh, Vegas Valley Cichlids for 50. We have, let's see, um, Aquarium Co-op for 50. We have uh, our friend Super Cichlids for 50. We have, and uh, Piscine is putting in some food. Uh, Beantown Aquatics is throwing in 50. Our friends over at the Cichlid Shack are throwing in a couple $50. Uh, certificates. Nolan's Aquarium is throwing in a hundred dollar certificate. So uh, there's a lot, a lot of opportunity, a lot of chances to win. So be sure you tune in on uh, August 29th. It's a Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific for the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. And we're going to pick some names at random there. And, uh, and of course, Santa Monica Filtration, Expert Matic, the ones who have, I'm going to do a special giveaway for the Super Chatters and they can win, uh, they can win the, uh, either the Santa Monica filtration, that $250 or $300 uh, algae scrubber, or that pump from Expert Maddox. We'll have a little drawing there for the Super Chatters. And, uh, but then everybody and anybody can win on the other ones, except for, you know, I think just to be fair, you really can't have uh, the moderators, admins, or family, you know, if one of my family members is watching, or moderators, uh, I really can't have them be a winner. Then it looks like it's an inside job or something. But uh, at any rate, so there's the update. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, please comment below. I always uh, like reading them. Don't get to them always, but I try to. And uh, I hope to see you on the 29th, Saturday, for Cichlids and Coffee. So we can give away all this good stuff. And I'll keep you posted on uh, when I add those fish to the main aquarium that are currently in quarantine. And uh, keep your fingers crossed that that big old Fusco keeps doing well in that 100. Thank you so much for tuning in. That's it for me, my friends. Bye-bye.